Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This round, I got something new, which is I have, uh, as some of you have known that I bought coffee machine, then on and off, I buy a manual grinder. This is the kind of uh, hand grinder that I've been using, and it really takes a good exercise for your hand. And I have decided why not get a machine grinder. So, after looking around in Shopee and Lazada, there's a few grinder. Uh, my original intention is to buy a very nice aesthetic kind of grinder. Well, aesthetic doesn't mean that it will give you a proper grind quality that you want. Asking around, checking my friends, reading forums. So for the budget that I have, it couldn't buy any professional series. Definitely no, because professional series will take you easily 1,005 and above. That is the minimum. So what I got over here is a coffee grinder from China and it's about 430 ringgit including shipping. This is one of the highly recommended by my friend who have tested some of the aesthetic one. I asked them, you know, how does it goes and stuff like that because I have a very compact area and they recommended me that, you know, in coffee community, they recommended this unit instead. So which is near to something on a entry level of a grinder. So let's unbox this. Let's go. So this is a variety type of grinder that I have. Uh, I'm not too sure mine is which one, but it's either these two. Then it comes with a brush. Interesting. I went to go and buy another brush. So this brush seems more logic for me. Oh yeah. Oh, so it's not that big. I bought red, that's, red, uh, that's black and red. So this is the red color. Oh, it's quite heavy. Oh yeah. This is the head. <coughs> oh, this is a bit plasticky. I believe that's the holder. One good thing is uh, the manual is in English. Manual. It tells you, you know, like uh, how do you want to dismantle all this and how do you want to clean it. The only thing that you have to put in mind that when you get a grinder, you need to maintain this as you need to wash don't know what. So yeah, there's a lot of things to do. You need to unplug this and they have a lot of uh, the grind size. So here I have one screw. I'm not too sure, do they need another screw here? So one good thing is uh, they gave a plug head which is a Malaysia version The 3 pin plug kind head which is very good Let's install this Ta -da! That's all That's all for a coffee machine Funny thing is this brush is like you know like your cat is losing its fur you see As I scrap These are all the little kind of the fur is coming out so it's kind of uh, the product ah yeah free one you cannot expect a lot lah well it's a very simple machine and there's nothing much to say at the moment the only thing there are from the grind size there's 1 to 19 that's a lot and there's a little dot in between so I'm not too sure where is the actual uh, measurement of the grind size but so tweak it is actually very very tight. I'm not too sure is this. I'm not too sure is this the case. But you can feel that it's like you know like a, a bang safe you know like clack clack clack. Can hear that? So that's basically the grind size. And once I turn it to zero, it's like a dead end. I can't really turn uh, anti clockwise anymore. And one good thing about here is that. You can see here, I think that is the automated uh, If you push your portal uh, filter to here Then you push it, I think it will auto grind it out Then uh, for the plastic, they have a filter Where you can just let your, let your beans fall down 
you can just plug it, everything will float in. If not, then you can seal it so the bits can stay in here. This whole thing is a bit plasticky, you can see. And the solid thing is actually the base, it's very metal, it's not plastic. The whole thing is actually very solid, it's not plastic, it's very solid. I think it's a better grade kind of plastic. Uh, and it's very very heavy. Easily this whole grinder bottom will take about 3 to 4 kg easily. I will do the grinding next, check on the grinding. So this is a, just a simple put on. Just install it like that, then we are ready to go for grinding. Okay. This little thing is a bit plasticky. What you need to do is just uh, pull it over here. Ta-da! There you go. So it's a bit more like uh, for your porta filter just to hold on it. Then as you push this button, the whole thing will flow. The white gap I think is 51mm onwards. I'm not too sure, I've not tried it yet, but we'll try it tomorrow. On off button is here. There is one auto and one is manual. So we'll try it out what is the both function different. Then there's a fuse. I'm not too sure what does this fuse mean. Uh, we'll have to read. This is the first time we'll have to read uh, manual already. Right now, I'm going to test this machine. Already plugged in everything. And let's try. First, check the power. There are a difference between manual and auto. So what is the difference? The difference when I click, uh, when I switch it to manual, the, the grinder will keep uh, grind non-stop. So if you want to grind like quite a lot, then I think uh, you should go for manual. Then if I click it to auto, now I switch it to auto, there is no movement of the grinding going on. So one thing is, there's a little button over here where it's usually like, you know, the professional series where you use your porta filter, then you just push it. So it's quite similar. You, the porta filter push it on the white button over here. That's where the grinder will start. This is actually a basic grinder. They doesn't have any setting. So you have to do your own setting manually every day. And, look at, and looking at this series, I find that they are quite similar to the one, the big, very nice one in cafe. And uh, I read on the comments that's actually a lot which is quite similar and this is one of the best beginning entry level for you to be a home barista. So let's try it out. I don't have the very cool series of weighing machine. I just got this a normal one, which is the baker. It's good enough to do all the little functions for me. And the usual on my previous coffee machine, Don Lim, I'm using about 14 gram of coffee powder in there. And I read in a few comments saying that for first time using on this grinder, there will be losage of grams. So for example, you put in 10 grams of coffee, you will lose two to three grams of coffee for first time grinding. But after you use it a few times, then you can see that 10 gram of coffee go in, it could be 10 gram of coffee powder coming out, or it could be 10 gram of coffee, 9 gram of coffee coming out. So the ratio or difference, it wouldn't be much. This is what is based on the comments. I am not too sure for myself yet because I am not professional in terms of studying this series. But I will learn on the go. So for a start, let's do the 14 gram first. So how are we gonna do it? I have my this little thing. I put it over here. Start weighing. I do have my coffee bean left. So let's try. Okay, we will try with 15 gram because we're gonna lose some of it on the first time. Okay, for our first time, I'm going to use 15 because we're going to lose a few grammage. So it could be 2 grams or 3 grams. 
and I think this is uh, one of the cool ways to do my measurement I'm going to take this as estimation at 40 with my measurement of this little thing and let's do it let's go the coffee is still stuck here so what you need to do is you just need to pull it all the coffee beans now have blown down I stop it again because I you only will do beans which I'm looking to do so currently the setting I'm not too sure how the setting goes because of the grinding the cross or fine just assuming the level of uh, indicator will be here or I'm not too sure will uh, this as an indicator I will try it out first and I will try to find some reviews to do after that but for a start for a start, let's see how it goes. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, it's not too bad. Look at the coffee powder. This currently I'm setting it at 1 presumably because I don't have an indicator here so I am using this little center nudge as the uh, center of gravity of this whole thing uh, but the coffee powder comes out very very good so just now this is 15 gram let's pour it out and see how much gramage do I get So basically for first time I'm not too sh I am not too sure did I do it correctly it seems like losing nearly half of the gramage that I put in 15 and now it's 9 we'll try another round later because I'm gonna make two cups of coffee today and see how it goes in a bit just now it seems like the ratio is a bit different compared to what I read in the comments I went to go and read back again some of the comments then I'm trying second round again as I open up on my this little top, I don't see any beans left, so I'm not too sure. Where well, this is actually a cheap weighing machine. Uh, a lot of people they buy a very professional kind of series where it gives you the accuracy. But so far, I've been doing cooking; it doesn't give any much different. But maybe you can buy a proper one. Maybe it costs about sixty to ninety ringgit. Check out the comment below. So I do add in a bit of a weighing machine for you guys to choose from, including mine. So now. I'm going to do 18 gram now This is my second trial Let's do it, this is 18 gram and see what it come out Does it come out with 18 gram or there's something else? Let's do it Let's do the weighing. Impressive. So it's like uh, some comments mentioned that you know, like the first time you will usually lose quite a bit, but I never expect mine to lose so much. And this is a second trial, and it seems like one to two grams is the ratio. I put in eighteen grams of beans. This is the eight, seventeen gram of powder that I'm getting it. Pretty much is nearly there. I believe the one gram is stuck in the grinder and stuff like that. So I think it's very, very common. Uh, for a beginning series. I'm not too sure about the professional series Professional series maybe the accuracy will be there because they are more expensive But for a home kind of coffee powder grinding machine one gram to two gram. I think it's kind of perfect and This machine costs only about 400 ringgit and it's very fast shipment from China to come over to Malaysia This is a simple review by me Thanks for watching and next, I'm going to learn how to clean this machine and I'll share it in my next video.